Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will be learning something very interesting. That is how to export specific worksheet within a Google spreadsheet to a PDF document. So without wasting any time, let me first show you my Google spreadsheet. So this is my Google spreadsheet. And if you could see over here, like there are one, two, three, and four tabs over here. Now the intent here is I just want to convert this tab, which is my payslip tab into a PDF document. So the solution which I'll demonstrate to you will ignore the other tabs and it will only convert the payslip tab into a PDF document. Now, this is just an example. You could use the same methodology for any kind of workflow. For example, if you if you're creating invoices or if you're creating mark sheets for students, you could use the same methodology to create PDFs for a specific worksheet rather than converting the entire Google sheet into a PDF document. So without wasting any time, let me first give you a demo. So if you see uh, on my Google Drive, I have created one folder called Convert PDF. So when I'll execute my script, this is the location where the Convert PDF files would be saved. So let me now execute the script. So I'll go to my Google Sheet. Here I have this tab where I have this button. I click on this button. The script has started running. You can see on the top, uh, let it complete. It may take a few seconds. Once the script will complete, you will be able to see the PDF generated at the folder which I had shown you a few seconds back. So now the script has finished. I go back into this folder and if I just refresh it and you could see now a PDF has been created. If I open the PDF, this is exactly same as the payslip tab of the Google Sheet. You could see the contents are exactly matching. So what we have achieved over here through the script is like we are successfully able to transfer the data just from one of the sheets within the Google Sheet into a PDF document. Hope you found the demonstration interesting. Now we will actually see how it was implemented. The implementation is very straightforward. I'll explain you all the steps along with the code right now. The first step is to create and format the spreadsheet. For example, this is my spreadsheet. Uh, this is all the data. So you have to keep your spreadsheet ready with the data and make sure that uh, the, the, the tab which you'll be transferring into a PDF that is well formatted and it is concise so that it does not roll over into a second page. So make sure like you're not using too many columns and uh, format it appropriately so that uh, the PDF looks good. Uh, the second step, if you'd see, is to create a new folder in the Google Drive. So I have created this folder. You could create any folder of your choice uh, within the Google Drive. This is the purpose of this folder is like the generated PDF should be stored over here. To create a new folder, it is very straightforward. You have to just click on this new, then you have this option, new folder, and the new folder will get created. It will ask you for a name. You could give any name of your choice. So now we are done with the first two steps, and now we are at a position where we'll be starting to write our code. To write the code, we'll go to the spreadsheet, uh, extensions, app script, uh, the window will load. And this is the place where we will be writing our code. The first few lines of the code goes like this. It is pretty straightforward. Like the first line, we are creating a reference to this worksheet. And then, then we are fetching its file ID and then creating a file variable, which we are using at line number eight to create a copy of this workbook so what is happening internally is like when line number seven and eight are getting executed this payroll google sheet which is somewhere located in my google drive a copy of it is being created in the destination folder so at the runtime here the copy of this payroll data sheet is getting created one important thing if you see in the script like uh, we are using at line number seven drive app dot get folder by id and passing this alphanumeric string so from where does this string come from so if you go into a folder at the top url if you see after the last slash we have some alphanumeric characters you have to just copy those alphanumeric characters and put it in the script so what does this mean is like this destination folder is referring to this folder on our Google Drive. Uh, to make it more clear, uh, let me remove this file which is available over here. Let me delete it. I have deleted it and let me execute lines of code which I have been ready up till now. So let me close the bracket, save this file and now click on the run button. 
So when these lines of code will get executed, let's see what happens in the background. So now the execution has completed. I go over here into my folder and if you see, the copy of the payroll data is available now here. We do not need it right now. This was just for explanation. So I'll once again delete it. Now, once again, I'll go back to my code and I'll continue further. So up till now, if I go back to my notepad over here, we have completed step three, which was to create a copy of the spreadsheet. So the copy of the code, which will be creating the copy of the spreadsheet is now ready with us. So at this point, step three is done. And now the step four, which is remove unwanted sheets from the copy. So the copy which was created into step three, now we want to remove the unwanted sheets. I'll explain you what does this mean. So if I come back to my spreadsheet, this spreadsheet, ha spreadsheet has four tabs. Uh, we are not interested in all the four tabs to be converted into the PDF. We are just interested with this pay slip tab. So we are not disturbing the original spreadsheet. We would be removing the unwanted tabs from the copied spreadsheet. And the code to do that goes like this. Once the copy is created, we are using these variables to access the copy of the main file. And with the help of these lines of code from line number 10 to line number 21, we are removing the unwanted sheets. We are just keeping the payslip tab in the copied spreadsheet available with us and the other tabs we are removing. Once again, what I'll do is like I will execute the script so that it would become more clear. So here there is nothing in this folder right now. Uh, let me execute this. I click on this run button. Let's see what happens over here. Let me refresh it. The script is executing in the background. Once the script will be complete, you'll be able to see the payroll data spreadsheet. So this spreadsheet is now available over here. And now if I open it, this spreadsheet only has one tab, which is payslip tab, but the original spreadsheet has all the tabs. So at this point, we have completed step number four, which was removal of unwanted sheets from the copy of the spreadsheet. You all must be wondering why we did this to the copy. Now, uh, using Google scripts, like I did not found a solution, which would be like converting just a specific worksheet into a PDF. So that is the reason I tried to manipulate it, uh, created a copy of it. And in the copy, we keep only one sheet. And now we would be converting this Google spreadsheet into a PDF document. So now we will move on to the fifth step, which is convert the copied spreadsheet into a PDF document. Now we will write the code, which would be converting the copied spreadsheet into a PDF document. The code goes like this. It is very simple. Uh, we are creating a binary large object uh, of type application PDF and using the destination folder, once this B blob is created and we are just giving this name. So just use the syntax as is and don't worry. I'll also share the link of the blog where this entire code is available. So you could use it as a reference. So once these two lines of code will be getting executed, the sheet would be saved as a PDF. So once again, we'll go to our folder. Let me remove it and let me execute the script, which is ready up till now. I save it. I close the sheet which I had opened. Now I click on the run button. Wait for a few seconds. The execution is completed. If I come over here, you could see I have the payroll data spreadsheet as well as the payslip PDF. If I open it, I have everything. Now, one important thing, like once this is done, I do not need this copy of the sheet. So what I'll do is as a last step, I will be deleting this copied spreadsheet from this folder. The code for it is very simple. It is in the last line. I just use the destination folder variable dot remove file 
and pass the variable name which holds the copy of the file which was copy file which we had defined at line number 8. So once this line of code will get executed here we will be only having the PDF file not the additional payroll data file. If I want to see the entire thing I remove these two files over here and now execute the entire complete code. So once again I hit the run button it will take few seconds. This is done. I go into my folder and here you could see it has only one payslip PDF file. So now we have achieved our intention which was to convert a specific worksheet within the Google spreadsheet into a PDF file. I hope this would be useful to you all. The code which we had written over here, you could find it on the blog automationanagile.com. Uh, within Google Sheet, select this option, export worksheet as a PDF and you'll find the sample code available over here which you could use for your reference. Guys, thanks a lot for joining. I will see you soon in my next tutorial. Goodbye. Have a nice day.